For weeks, political leaders debated whether or not to even have this election, delay it or keep it on as scheduled. And as the debate con that continued even today as voters went to the polls this morning. NBC 26's Matt Jarko spoke with political leaders of both state and local on both sides of the aisle. You know, this is a total disaster. Today you're going to see democracy prevail. Two vastly different takes from two political leaders, one a Republican, the other a Democrat. I think they like the idea of suppressing the vote, sadly. And it, to me, it's just one of the saddest days in my career, my 20th year. This is outrageous. And people could get sick, and they could have done so much better. Republicans, though, said it was Governor Tony Evers who put the state's election at risk with an executive order yesterday that would have postponed the election. The state Supreme Court reversed the governor's order. Senator Roger Roth says there are elected offices that need to be filled based on today's vote. No one would be running those governments in this moment of crisis. And that's why it wasn't the perfect decision to hold the election today is planned, but it was the right decision because it's going to ensure that we have leadership at all levels of government as we move through this crisis. And Tuesday, it was ultimately the municipal levels of government that opened polling locations to voters. Outagamie County Executive Tom Nelson said he disagreed with that decision, but now with it passed, said the county will do what it can. The clerks out there, the county clerk, uh, the municipal clerks, I mean, these folks have been running ragged for weeks now. It's, it's a great team. Um, I'm proud of them, and they'll do a good job. Green Bay's mayor tried for weeks to postpone the election. We're experiencing some very long lines, unfortunately. So there's a lot of understandable frustration out there in the community. Um, unfortunately, this is very predictable. What everyone did agree on is the decision to go out and vote is not up to the government, but each and every individual. Matt Jarko. NBC 26.